Welcome, brave souls, to another journey into the darkness. Prepare yourselves for a tale that will send shivers down your spine and haunt your dreams forever. I have prepared my most macabre terror story that I can think of to share with you, so brace yourselves for this story will make your blood run cold and your heart race with dread. The Legend of the Moon Poppy Blooming The Curse of the Werewolf once upon a time, in a village nested deep within the ancient forest, there was a legend about the moon poppy, a mystical flower that bloom only once a year under the light of the full moon. This flower was said to possess magical properties, capable of granting great powers or immense tranquility to whoever possessed it. In this village lived a young woman named Tammy, who was known for her curiosity and bravery. She had always been fascinated by the legend of the moon poppy and dreamt of finding it. The villagers often warned her about the dangers of the forest, especially stories of the fearsome werewolf that prowled under the full moon. Despite the warnings, Tammy's curiosity drove her to venture into the forest during the night of the full moon. The night was illuminated by the bright silvery light of the moon as Tammy made her way through the dense trees. She followed the ancient path that many had forgotten, guided by the shimmering light of the moon. As she walked deeper into the forest, she heard the distant howls of the werewolf sending shivers down her spine, yet her determination never wavered. After hours of searching, she finally stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight. In the center of the clearing stood the moon poppy, its petals glowing with an ethereal light. Tammy approached the flower with awe, feeling the magic emanating from it. As she reached out to touch the flower, a low growl echoed through the clearing. She turned to see the werewolf, its eyes glimmering with a max of menace and curiosity. It was a magnificent yet terrifying creature, its fur shimmering in the moonlight. Tammy's heart pounded in her chest, but she stood her ground. She realized that the werewolf was not attacking her. Instead, it seemed drawn to the moon poppy as well. Taking a deep breath, Tammy spoke softly to the werewolf. I believe we both seek the power of the moon poppy. Perhaps it can help us both. The werewolf, surprisingly, seemed to understand her words. It approached cautiously, its eyes fixed on the flower. Tammy reached out and gently plucked the moon poppy from the ground. The moment she held the flower, she felt a surge of energy and clarity. With the moon poppy in hand, Tammy turned to the werewolf. I don't know if this will work, but I wish for you to be free from your curse. As she spoke, the moon poppy's light intensified, enveloping both Tammy and the werewolf. The air shimmered with magic, and the werewolf began to transform before Tammy's eyes. The fearsome creature gradually turned into a young man. He looked at Tammy with gratitude and amazement. Thank you, he said his voice trembling. You have freed me from my curse. I am Quinton, and I was once a protector of this forest before the curse took hold of me. Tammy smiled, relieved and joyful. We both sought the moon poppy for different reasons, but it seems it had the power to help us both. Quinton nodded. 
The legend speaks of its power, but it is the bravery and kindness of those who seek it that truly unlocks its magic. Together, Tammy and Quentin returned to the village where they shared their incredible story. The villagers marveled at the sight of the moon poppy and the transformation of Quinton. From that day on, the legend of the moon poppy became a tale of courage, compassion, and the extraordinary magic that could be found in the heart of the forest. Thank you for tuning into this eerie tale. Until next time, stay tuned for more spine-chilling stories. This was Sandra Pink.